All right, guys, so for the imbued sword locations, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go Celia, Understair, and you're gonna do exactly as I do. You're gonna run up the stairs here. You're gonna find a couple of things to fight. You can just skip them. And then once we're at the top of these stairs, we're gonna go left here, and then there's gonna be a wagon of some kind. You're gonna bust through there. And then there's come gonna be a ghost man he's gonna ambush you no worries if you're high level and the imbued sword is gonna be in this chest I've already collected it and then now we're gonna head to the debate parlor so once you're here you're just gonna follow the path I'm taking you're gonna come across a lot of enemies if you haven't been here yet they may be a little tough for you but if you're a god at this point and you're just cleaning up loose ends then these enemies should not be a problem whatsoever. Yeah, we're gonna take some hits and jump down here. Keep running. There's gonna be two enemies around here, those sword trolley guys. Don't worry about them. You can take them out if you don't feel comfortable, but like I said, they shouldn't be a problem for you. Go up this ladder here. This is pretty much the same path that we took for the Azure Staff, if you watch that video. So down here, there's gonna be two guys on the post up top and a magic boy. Obviously, we're gonna just jump through him. And then we're gonna jump down at the end of this ledge here. Then we're gonna jump down again. One more time, and guy right here. And then the imbued sword, like the other one, I had already collected it, but this is where it was on top of this dead body here. So it'll just be floating there, a little purple item. And then now we are gonna head to the foot of the four belfries. That's on the left side of the lake, Lernia Lake or whatever it is. And then once you are here, you're going to take this path, the fork in the road to the right, and we're going to go to the top of this mountain up here, it looks like. The path is just a little dirt broken path in the road. You'll be able to see it pretty clear. On our way up here, though, we are going to come across a couple of giants, except these guys are the headless ghost giants. In my opinion, you can just run by them. Um, but if you don't feel comfortable, you're more than welcome to just take them out. There's the second one, and now we are at the four belfries. So there's... This tower here, I've already unlocked this area, but I'm just gonna show you where the imbued sword was. It's gonna be at this fourth tower, way in the back inside of a chest. It's not there, cause I already have it. And don't forget, there's also a side of grace up here. Be sure to grab that. So, now that you have all three imbued swords, we are gonna activate these three other towers here. You can activate them in any order, but I labeled the towers one through three, and this is just my suggestion to do them in this order uh, for the best experience. So basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna run up to this first tower here. This is portal one. There is a little gargoyle statue where you place the sword in, and then that portal will be activated once you put that sword in. Then we're going to head over to portal 2, which is the one in the left here. You're going to obviously activate it, and then that portal will activate. You'll go in there, collect the item, kill the boss guy. It's not really a boss, it's, it's just a little red bar. But you'll see what I'm talking about once you get in there. And then this is Portal 3. This is the one with a major enemy. 
that you want to kill and continue on a quest line if you haven't done it. But yeah, guys, so this is the three locations of the Imbu Swords and where to go to activate them. I hope you liked the video. I hope this helped you out. Obviously, like and subscribe if it did, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.